Hi everyone. So today I'm gonna film an empties video. I have so many empties that it's actually kind of crazy. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, we've got a bin here. This is the most candle empties I've ever had. I have some candles here. I have some candles here, some Bath and Body empties, Scentsy clamshells. So let's just let's just go. Usually I start with clamshells, but today I kind of feel like starting with like the Polypro bags first. And I have them organized as best as I could. So let's start with Sassy Girl Aroma. I actually warmed a lot of Sassy Girl Aroma. Um I just, I'm trying to be aware of what's in my collection. I think I mentioned this actually in my Sassy Girl Aroma video. I think I mentioned like I'm really not planning to do any pre-orders and just kind of like use what's in my collection since we might be moving soon. So I don't want to keep bringing in more and more wax and then I'm just going to have to move it. Um, so I warmed through a lot of these. Some of these were full. Some I just decided they're a little old in my collection. I just want to start using. Um, the first one is Five Little Pumpkins. This is, a, this is um, a scent that I got last year in December. It's a scent that you'd think I'd love. And I did love it on cold pumpkin pecan waffle vanilla bean noel sugar cookies. For some reason, this particular one, I felt like I didn't get a super strong throw. But I just, I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying much attention to it. I did do this in kind of my open concept living room area. I do have a loaf of this though, so I'm gonna try it out again when I cut up that loaf eventually. Cause I feel like I would love it. I just feel like maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention when I was actually warming it. Um, this one is like a G6. I decided to warm this one when I had got it in the mail or like when I was looking through my collection and looking at this, I was kind of like, it seems like a good blender. It's not something that I would get like if I were to look at a pre-order list today. It's crazy how like when you're first buying wax, you feel like you want everything. Then you really kind of realize and narrow down, okay, this is my scent preference. This is what I look for in wax. Um, nowadays, I don't gravitate towards like the cornbread muffin scent note as much. Caramel and vanilla pound cake, it's just not something that straight, like stands out to me that I would pick up today. However, I did enjoy this one. Again, this is from the same pre-order. I must have picked up with this Five Little Pumpkins because I wrote on the back 1221. Um, this one was definitely caramel heavy to the point where it almost reminded me of like a caramely syrup, like sugary sweet caramely syrup kind of a scent. Was not strong on the cornbread muffin. Um, I felt like it was a good blender scent. I don't feel like this is a scent I would reach for and like need to warm by itself, but it was a solid like blender kind of a scent. Wave the Grain, this is pretty much in line with that other one, the like a G6, where to me, if I were, were to look at the list nowadays, it's not something I feel like I would necessarily pick up because to me, again, it's more of a blender scent. I would make something, you know, kick it up a notch on bakery, sugar cookie, birthday cake, old town bakery. It was good and I, I enjoyed it. It's one of those scents that it wasn't super impressive on cold, but when I actually went to warm it, it did do a lot better. Um, so I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but wouldn't repurchase that particular scent. Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire, such a good staple fall time scent. I loved it. And to me, actually, this was pretty long lasting. Sometimes Sassy Girl Aroma, for me, it's like a really good throw and performance, but not necessarily like long lasting. This one I felt like I smelled like all day long, a really nice, nice sweet apple cider kind of a note. It's basically pumpkin pecan waffles, uh, Cider Lane and Marshmallow Fireside, I think. So three Bath and Body Works dupes. But to me, the strongest note in here is the Cider Lane, like the Cider Apple Caramel. And that's surprising because usually when Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is in the blend, I feel like that takes over, but it doesn't. Cider Lane is the strong note for me in this one, and it's so beautiful. I'm pretty sure I have a loaf of this in my collection, and I'm very happy about that. That This is definitely a re repurchase kind of a scent for me. This is Fruit Fizz, Fruity Pebbles, Fizzy Soda, Cotton Candy, Blueberry, and Satsuma. I'm just reading them because sometimes Sassy Girl Aroma, the, the names don't necessarily relate to what the notes are. 
Um, this was nice. I enjoyed it. I don't know why some of these labels look like they're starting to like discolor a little bit, but um, this isn't even that old. This is from March. But um, it was a very nice, bright, fruity blend. To me, it was strongest on the Satsuma. It has fruity pebbles in it. That's not a strong cereal note, in my opinion. So I didn't even really pick up cereal. I just picked up like with the fizzy soda, cotton candy, blueberry Satsuma. It just smelled like a really fruity blend, but strongest on the Satsuma. So it was really nice. It was a good, um, good scent. I don't think it's something that I'm gonna immediately put on my radar to purchase if I see it in a pre-order, but I did enjoy it while I warmed it. This one is Scrubs, so I did a few laundry blends. Scrubs is Blackberry, Apple, Mango, Tango, Febreze, Tide, Mountain, Frame, Get Mountain Fresh, and Gain. So a lot of different laundry dupes in here. Basically, the gist of this one is it was a fruity laundry and it was really strong and I enjoyed it. And then the gist of this one, which is Sugarland Laundry, Tropical Fruit, Plumeria, Jasmine, Musk, Amber, Woodsy, Notes, Sweetened with Cotton Candy. I don't know if all those scent notes before the Sweetened with Cotton Candy is a laundry dupe. I'm not quite sure about that, possibly. But to me, this just came off as like a sweet laundry because of the cotton candy. Again, this was strong and I really enjoyed it. And then the last one I did is Rosemary's love potion this is from a year ago at this point i don't know i've had a different scent similar to this i think and i felt the same way for some reason i didn't smell this one super strongly i don't feel like it has to do with because it's hit the year mark because that's really not that long of a time where i feel like wax would start losing its scent i just feel like for me this one just seemed like it was a bit on the lighter side. It was really pretty on cold, but just I felt like I kind of had to like put my nose in the warmers to kind of pick it up. Um, and then a few before I forget, just Sassy Girl Aroma samples right here. One is Vanilla Strawberry. This is really pretty. Again, like I just do these single little scent shot samples in my bathroom warmers. I liked it. Um, I don't think it's anything I, I'm gonna make a note to purchase in a pre-order, but I love just the convenience of popping these into the bathroom warmers. This is Persimmon Salsa. This was really strong and long lasting actually. I had trouble getting this one out of the scent shot cup. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all kind of like bent up because this one for some reason did not want to come out of the, the plastic container, but very strong. Again, I don't know if it's something that I like crave and want to repurchase right away but it was a really nice like peach fruity scent and then this is fresh which i believe i remember looking up the scent notes and it's a dupe for like a gain fresh scent and yeah it was really good a very nice strong laundry scent i liked it but i i'm not picky when it comes to laundry blends i usually like them all um okay let's do like i said i think we're gonna do the clamshells last this time so let's just keep pulling from my poly pro bags i did a lot of Knowles farm scents um however long since it's been since my last empties and i have to say overall i get really good performance from Knowles farm scents and a little goes a long way like i can spread one snap bar in my office i can spread you know a snap bar in my living room and i feel like it's very strong and long lasting. Like, I think I mentioned this maybe in a Knowles Farm scent haul where I feel like I would be wasting it if I did change it halfway throughout the day. So I let it usually go the full day. And then, you know, sometimes I let it go a second day, but sometimes I'm to the point where I'm just ready to try something new. But for in general, it's long lasting for me. Blueberry Cobbler, really enjoy this if you're a fan of like blueberry cobbler scent oils give it a try you'd probably like it good performance good throw um i'm assuming a lot of some of these bars are just like single scent oils but um yeah enjoy that because i love a good blueberry bakery this is let's get cozy cocoa butter cashmere and palo santo to me um travis's palo santo is not super strong or like noticeable because sometimes i can be sensitive to it i have come to realize i'm liking it more and more lately but um just specifically in his blends i don't feel like i pick it up as much i usually pick up whatever it is blended with so this one smelled most of cocoa butter cashmere but it was really pretty good um you know good throw i enjoyed it but it's not like an absolute favorite scent so i don't think i would like immediately repurchase that 
Autumn on the Farm. This one to me reminded me of like a Christmas transition kind of a scent. So I actually melted this one the first day we had snow on October 14th. Um, since then, like today, it's it's so warm out. It's been like upper 60s, even hitting 70 degrees and sunny, which is crazy. I mean, for this time of year, usually it's a little bit more fall weather, but I'm not complaining because I'm enjoying it. I like a long fall. I don't want it to be winter yet. So um, I've actually been warming a little bit more you know, grabbing other scents that aren't just fall because it just feels like summer, honestly, or spring. But I did do this when it was a chillier day and I really liked it. It got me in the Christmas mood. Very strong and long lasting. Are you serious? I've done this one before, fall and fall leaves in Palo Santo. Again, to me, I think it's strongest on like the fall leaves, like the fall kind of a scent, but the Palo Santo just makes it a little more cozy maybe. Sugar cookie dough bread. Oh my gosh, is this good? I, I was like, why are these stuck together? Because I taped them together because I actually mixed these two one day. So, so good. I melt mix these two, but to be honest, I think what I was picking up the most is the sugar cookie dough bread. This is a fantastic, fabulous scent that I would repurchase over and over again. And I do have multiples of these in my stash, which I'm so happy about because it is that amazing. Um... Again, I don't know if I'm repeating myself. I might have said this in my Knowles Farm Sense haul, but I did this blend in my office one evening after the workday, after I had worked from home. Wanted to just change out my wax, decided to pop this mixture in the warmers. I wasn't planning to really be in the office too much, but I just wanted to change out my wax. This smelled so good that I made it a point. I decided to just hang out in the office that evening where usually I'm in the living room, in our bedroom, um, I'm, I'm not really in the office because I worked, you know, work in our home office all day long. I decided I'm going to come in, read. I tried to be in the office as much as I could that evening because it smelled so good that I wanted to like soak in all the amazing scent coming from the office. And it was so strong that it even did kind of leak out of the office. But oh my gosh, I kept telling my husband like, how good does it smell in here? Doesn't it smell so good in here? And like I said, to me... If I had to guess, I'm pretty sure it was the sugar cookie dough bread that I was smelling the most, but it was a nice mixture because whatever I did that night, I loved. Definitely would recommend sugar cookie dough bread. Cider Lane, very nice, very pretty cider, good performance. Sometimes I can be picky with Cider Lane, but Travis's is really nice. Sugar, sugar, honey pie. Um, this was good, but not a favorite. So it's mainly kind of like body care kind of scents, vanilla bean noel, pink sugar, black sugar. I did this in the bathroom warmers. It was good performance, but not like a scent that I would crave to repurchase. Sugar and spice. Um, this is definitely a cinnamon cinnamon kind of a scent. I, I definitely picked that up, some of those spices. Again, good, but not a favorite kind of a scent. And then caramel pumpkin cake. This was in his cube bag, mini cube bags. And I warmed this pretty much right away when I got this one in and performed so good. I even wrote, sometimes I don't change wax because I'm just so busy that I don't change it. This one lasted two days in the warmers, very strong and long lasting. And like I said, this is one of the newer scents that I've picked up from Travis and it performed amazing right off the bat. And I have to say, I love how convenient these cubes are because you just pop one cube in a warmer and you're good to go. So that was my um, Knowles Farm scents. Let's do some Rose Girls. So I actually did um, a Cookie Land sampler. Um, I, when I pull out samplers, I kind of try to do the whole thing so I can just talk about them at once. And then I have a few just random mini melter bags. So like I said, Cookie Land sampler, I'm trying to remember when I picked this up. Must have been from a pre-order. Um, so I think I tried to put these in order to most to least favorite. Although I liked them all, these are just the ones that stood out to me the most. So Marshmallow Fire Fireside Cookie Land. Oh my gosh, did I love this. This was so good. Warm and cozy. I have to say too, a lot of these did so much better on warm than they do on cold. Never judge a bakery on cold sniff because it almost always is like so good when you actually go to warm it. So I loved this one. Donut Noel Cookie Land. This was a surprising one because again, I decided to do this one day kind of in the sense 
Do you guys ever do this too where you're like you smell something on your cold you're like this isn't impressive I'm just gonna warm it and get it out of my collection kind of thinking I try not to do that so much because I don't like I don't warm things just to warm them get and get them out and like waste them but you know sometimes I'm like you know this isn't too good you know I'm gonna savor some of these other ones that I think I'm gonna love and I'll just do this one. Oh my gosh I was so sad when I used this one up this was so good. Honestly, it might be tied for first place with that Marshmallow Fireside Cookie Land. That's how much I love this. Not impressive whatsoever whatsoever on cold, but so good. Sweet, decadent, warm, delicious. This is like, I wanted to like eat whatever this smelled like. Like it was like a, such a good edible bakery scent. I would 100% look for this in Mini Melters if she offered it loved that one that was like probably a surprise of the cookie land sampler lavender cookie land this is like a love as well oh my gosh i i don't even know if i can rank these top three so far because i loved them so much i absolutely love jenny's lavender to me even though she calls it sweet lavender i'm pretty sure it leans more herbal lavender i love a good herbal lavender mixed with bakery so so good love this that one though is definitely lavender heavy. The Cookie Land is very much so in the background. Blueberry Oatmeal Cookie Land. I liked this, but to me the blueberry was a little bit toned down, I think because it was mixed with the Oatmeal Cookie Land. Um, I think this would have been better if it was just Blueberry Cookie Land as opposed to Blueberry Oatmeal Cookie Land, but I did still enjoy it. Raspberry Crunch Cookie Land. This is good. Definitely enjoyed it. It's one of those where I enjoyed it on warm, but I'm not going to necessarily like jump to repurchase. Um, definitely a good like to me like bakery fruity raspberry. The raspberry to me didn't lean like perfumey or floral, so I liked that. Lemon Buttercream Cookie Land. Very pretty, very sweet, a nice lemon bakery. But just for me, I don't crave lemon bakery like I do other bakeries like strawberry or blueberry. Pumpkin Zucchini Bread Cookie Land. I enjoy this. I actually have two of them because I, I think I had gotten one in as like one of my order freebies and then one came in the sampler. Um, I enjoyed this. Very good fall bakery scent. If you're not huge into super sugary sweet, like make your teeth ache sweet, you would like this because it's not an overly sweet blend. The Zucchini Bread definitely makes it a little bit more... I guess maybe savory, savory leaning bakery. Like I'm not saying it's like, it's not like yeasty bread or anything, but it's just not a super sweet note. And same with the pumpkin, not super, super sweet. And those ones I think overshine the cookie land, but I do really enjoy that. And I've had this in mini melters before. I do enjoy it for the fall time. And then shockingly, apple fritter, fritter cookie land is probably my least favorite. Um, to me, like it was good, but it just like for me wasn't my favorite of the order of the Cookie Land sampler, but still good. Obviously, there were none none in that sampler that I like hated or didn't want to melt. Like I enjoyed them all, but that was kind of how I ranked um, those scents. Then just three mini melter bags. All of these are from a year ago, so 10 2021. So I wanted to. I'm looking through my stash and definitely kind of keeping on radar like on my radar the scents that are getting like a year old and I'm trying to melt through those first just so things aren't kind of getting lost and you know getting old possibly you know losing fragrance so I want to just be aware of like oldest before I melt newest espresso dunk my donut cup of cake vanilla bean noel this was a really good Rose Girls is one of my favorite coffee blends as well. I would say Pharmacist Daughter and Rose Girls are both my favorite vendors to get coffee scents from. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. I had a few scent, uh, a few chunks left over, so I did some mixing at the end with this one, which is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake, and I absolutely love this one too. I've repurchased this one multiple times. It's so, so good. Um, and I like this one too, but... I'm not super picky with coffee from Jenny. I wouldn't necessarily keep my eye out for this exact one. I just like her coffee bakery blends in general. And this one, like I said, I've repurchased over and over again. Love it. Sometimes we get caught up in like the really extravagant blends with five different, you know, scent oils mixed in. But don't forget about the staples. Pumpkin pecan waffle birthday cake. You know, it might sound a little like 
the basic or boring, but oh my, it is so good. I love it. And then Ghoul Friends, a staple um, scent for, for from Jenny for the fall time. I do really like it, but I think I'm gonna have to melt my other Ghoul Friend blends in my collection. I think I like Carbs with Ghoul Friends blend slightly better, but I'll have to double check by melting that again, but um, definitely a staple. I could picture myself always picking up one of these like every fall, really, really good. Um, I have a few super tarts um, and a lot of these, in fact, I think all of them are from my Wax Wednesday order last year. I believe they are doing Wax Wednesday again this year, which is, it's sometime in mid-November. It's not quite like a Black Friday sale. It's before Black Friday, but keep on the lookout if you are interested because I think I've seen her post that she's going to do a Wax Wednesday sale. Again, unfortunately, I'm not going to be participating in like any pre-orders or anything, um, but keep your eye out if you are interested. This is Gain Fresh Strawberries. I actually have a full BAM of this as well because I thought I really liked it, and I do, but I think once I melt through my full BAM bag of this, I don't feel like I would pick this up again, at least not right away, and probably not in a full BAM again, but I feel like it was really unique. Whatever this Gain Fresh, which... I don't know if it's, that's supposed to be the exact same was, one as the Sassy Girl Aroma, but to me they smell different. Um, but this is also fresh, and this is this says Gain Fresh. So, or it Gain and then Fresh Strawberries, or is it Gain Fresh? I don't know. It says Gain Laundry, though. To me, this was the most unique laundry scent that I've ever smelled, but I liked it, and it's str strong and long-lasting. Um... I feel like it's the gain over the strawberry. I didn't feel like I picked up strawberry a whole lot, but Super Tarts has a different strawberry oil than to me any other vendor. So maybe I just, my nose wasn't picking it up because it is a little bit different of a strawberry oil, but I enjoyed it. Um, but like I said, after I melt through my other full BAM, would I repurchase it immediately? I'm not quite sure. I'll have to think about that. Um, this is Very Good Cookie. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. I, I think I actually might have picked up a clam that I saw on their website. Now I can't remember from my Super Tarts haul, but um, I really enjoyed this. I would pick it up again. Really enjoy some of their berry bakery scents. They're, they're probably one of my favorites. These two, very similar. So if you can get your hands on one or the other, or if you like one and you haven't tried the other, definitely try it. Um, one is Beast and one is Oklahoma. Beast is blueberry cornbread, Oklahoma is blueberry biscuit. So seriously, really similar. I melted these pretty much back to back because I was curious, can I notice a difference? To be honest, I didn't really notice. Maybe if you're, you know, paying super close attention, you might be able to tell a slight difference, but either, either way, they're both blueberry bakery. They're both really good. I enjoyed them and I would repurchase one or both just depending on what's offered in a pre-order really really good that's a cornbread that i i don't mind if the cornbread is too heavy i don't like it um i think i talked about where is it in this one i think i might have talked about a melted mousse blueberry cornbread scent that i did recently that one to me was too cornbread heavy and i didn't really enjoy it but if it's more blueberry heavy i usually end up liking it this is buttermint vanilla sugar cookies it's double bagged because there was a rip in my bag um, cause this was the time where they were having issues with some of their bags coming ripped. Um, I love this so much. This is another one where you kind of feel like, you know, buttermint vanilla bean sugar cookie, like, you know, it's kind of basic, nothing too special. I loved it and I would totally purchase this in a full BAM. It was strong, such a pretty, like sweet, sugary mint with that bakery, like, so good. I really, really loved it and was savoring it. Um, so that was some of my super tarts. I think that was all of my super tarts. Um, okay, let me do, let's do L3. Because I have a big pile of L3 here. Pink Frosted Cake today is October 3rd. So good. I actually purchased this, I think, in my last L3 haul, which I don't even know when I put that up. But... Today is October 3rd, Pink Frosted Cake, so good. This is really long lasting um, and 
I really like it. I'm really liking today is October 3rd and this just makes it a little more sweet. I so, so much enjoyed that. This was just a chunk of White Elephant Exchange. So good. If you're curious, like, so they do White Elephant Exchange in mixes a lot and you can never quite pinpoint it, I feel like. Definitely try it alone at least once. It is so good. It's really, really good. It kind of gives you an appreciation then when you do know it's in mixes because it really, it's a really nice bakery. Sometimes vanilla bakery can go wrong because I feel like there are some vanilla bakery scents that I literally can't smell. They're just too light. I don't notice them. But there are some vanilla bakeries that like just blow my socks off. They're so good. And this is one of those that's really, really nice. Um, if I ever say I'd totally repurchase this, just know I'm not repurchasing anytime soon. But I would totally get that in a loaf. Really, really good. This was a Harvest Cake of Sleepy Hollow. I had this last year and I think I might have said that I wouldn't repurchase because it is a very spicy blend. Do not get fooled because you see vanilla pound cake, pumpkin cream filling, and cream cheese frosting. It sounds like it would be a really decadent sweet bakery pumpkin. All you get is like spicy pumpkin. That is what this smells like. So I love this one mixed with other bakery. I don't think I would do this alone because it is way too spicy pumpkin. I do not get at all vanilla pound cake or, or cream cheese frosting. It is the all pumpkin cream filling. But if you keep that in mind and like a spicy pumpkin, definitely pick that up. Strawberry pound cakes, fruit loops. This was good. Actually, this was mainly fruit loops heavy, which isn't surprising because fruit loops is a really strong cereal. Um, fragrance oil. Um, I enjoyed it. I do love a good cereal blend every now and again. Okay, these two I wanted to try out. I'm pretty sure I had this in a haul, so you've seen my first impressions, but I wouldn't get these again, but that's the beauty of the Trig Tarts. They're a small amount of wax, and then you get to try out a single scent oil if you're curious what it smells like if you see it in blends, and you want to kind of pinpoint, okay, what does it smell like on its own? I tried black linen. I think my impressions were I was assuming that it was going to be kind of a masculine laundry. That was just my impression. It is very floral heavy, very strong. I can smell it through the bag. You could probably, I don't know if you're familiar with trig tarts, but there are these kind of little triangular pieces and typically I'll do like three or four of those little triangles in one warmer, unless I'm blending, then one triangle piece, one or two is probably enough if you're mixing and matching with scents. But um, you could probably get away with one or two per warmer without mixing because it's that strong. It's a powerhouse fragrance, long lasting. This will leak through, you know, you could, I had this in one warmer and it smelled, it um, filled up my whole living room kitchen area. It's that strong. So performance wise, really good. I just wouldn't repurchase because this isn't my favorite kind of like go to sort of a scent, but I'm glad I tried it out in trig tart form. And this is kind of the same. I was hoping it was going to be like a fruity floral with that pear, but it is all floral. And this one kind of even leans a bit powdery. Um, again, performance wise, it like knocked my socks off, but I just wouldn't repurchase this particular like floral blend. This was a Matrix Melt. I am liking my Matrix Melts lately. When I first tried them out, I thought I didn't get great performance for some reason. I don't know if it was just the, the shape of them. They are really thin. So usually it's like two, two squares, two squares. I think one big one, two squares, and two squares. I would do two squares per warmer personally, and I've gotten really good performance of, from these lately. Um, I loved this one. So scent wise, loved it, would repurchase it. This is totally my kind of a scent. I think it was heavier on the cupcakes at Tiffany's and ice cream scoop bread. I didn't really pinpoint the pink frosted cake, but regardless, all these scent notes are notes that I love. I would just say that matrix melts are so pretty, very easy to store, but like price per ounce, I don't think this is the best value that L3 offers. I think if I remember correctly, they've had a few price increases, but when I first started buying wax and I was paying closer attention to the prices and prounce and everything, I think 
the fluted tarts and two pack bunts are kind of the best for your value. I'd have to relook at the prices and recalculate, but if I remember correctly, that was kind of the best. And the matrix melts per, um, so it says approximately 3.5 ounces. And I think these are, I think they might be close to $5 if I'm remembering correctly. I think they're like $4.75. So, I mean, still very affordable. L3 is a very affordable vendor, but just, you know, you can get other shapes that are probably more cost effective, cost efficient if you are like paying attention to that. Um, now we have quite a few loaves I've gotten through. Again, not saying that I've melted all these loaves from now between the last wax melt empties, but I chop up, chop up a lot of loaves and just start them. So these are all ones I happen to finish during this empties video. A lot of my loaves I mix and match. So it takes me a while to get through them because a ton I just blend with. So I'll do, you know, a few small cubes in each warmer. Um, but that's the beauty of it. Like I love experimenting and mixing and matching and I do love loaves. Basic Witch, a very nice um, fall time scent, fall time bakery. Um, vanilla bean, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I did enjoy this one. To me, it's kind of a toned down pumpkin pecan waffles because of the other scent notes. I really liked it. Good on its own. Good for blending. I just don't know if this I would need in an entire loaf again by itself, but I did enjoy it while I warmed it. Hufflepuff. I would always repurchase this anytime I see this because I always want to have a loaf on backup because I love it that much. Um... Again, I'm not going to be repurchasing anything for a long, long time. And I do have, thank goodness, I think a backup loaf in my collection. It is just so, so good. If you have not tried it, you need to. It's one of L3's, like, I would say most popular fall time blends and Harry Potter blends. It is amazing. October Vibes, so good. I love this one. I don't know if, I mean, if I saw this in a loaf, I would get it. But what I love about this one specifically, I'm pretty sure is the sugar cookie royale. So even in that sense, I would just get a loaf of sugar cookie royale. But this one was really good. The most I smell is the sugar cookie royale on warm. It really comes alive on warm. This is one of those bakeries. But I mean, sugar cookie royale in general is one of those bakeries as well. Where um, you can't judge it on cold. It is so good on warm cream cheese frosting sugar cookie royale pumpkin pecan waffles this was one of my doggy bag customs that i did from l3 exactly a year ago this was last october loved it i'm not saying that i made this blend or anything because she's poured this blend i've seen it in rts's before this is amazing this is another like you know on warm blew me away it was so good on cold it was a little light, it was good, but it didn't, you know, wow me on cold. So good on warm. I savored this. I really, really liked it. I would definitely pick it up in the future again. Season of the Witch, classic staple fall time scent. Um, apples and leaves, you definitely get a lot of the apple that's coming out of it because I think leaves even has apple blended in it, I believe. So good. Do I need another whole loaf of it? Probably not, but I would pick up the same blend maybe in like a Bitty Betty or just something a little bit smaller, but I did really enjoy that. This has got to be one of my older loaves because this was a carryover from last fall. Pink Mochi Bread. This is another one of my doggy bag customs that I was savoring. Pink fro- pink? No, sorry. Fresh picked strawberry, strawberry pound cake, and zucchini bread. This is just amazing. Any sort of strawberry zucchini bread blend from L3, I would 100% get in a loaf. My number one, I think, scent from L3, again, very basic but so good, is strawberry and zucchini bread. Strawberry pound cake, zucchini bread, strawberry bread, zucchini bread, any sort of combination like that, I would hands down pick up because it is so good. Um... So I think a lot of these now are, um, I have a lot of vendors to go through, but I don't have as much quantity from each. So let's just start with that. So the pharmacist daughter, I think I have three things in front of me. These are all coffee blends. This one is cauldron bubble. Really, really nice um, co coconut coffee blend. You really get the coconut. You really get the coffee. I enjoyed this one a lot. 
cinnamon coffee cake this is another blend this was a loaf this is again one of my older loaves in my collection because this was a loaf when they did the um it didn't come with like a tin it must have been in like a um what do they call it like a silicon silicone mold or something but i think they do tins now uh wax loaf tins but anyway so this one's a, this one was definitely an older one probably like a year old i like this one a lot i like their coffee house it's one of my favorite coffee blends but i come to realize i like it better blended than just on its own so i would pick up this one over just actually this is a mix for some reason, I thought I had Coffee House on its own. I think I do, or I already warmed that one. But anyway, this was really, really good. I prefer this one, basically, is what I'm trying to say, over Beans and Cream, I think. Beans and Cream is a very popular one of theirs. It's Coffee House Marshmallow Sweet sweet and Creamy Coconut Shortbread Cookies. Um, This was good, but not my absolute favorite like blend. I feel like it was mainly Coffee House. It didn't smell overly sweet. So I actually use this one for blending a lot, this loaf. I still really enjoyed it, but I don't think I need it in a loaf necessarily. But again, Pharmacist Daughter is, it is one of my favorite coffee blends. Um, we have, I think just one Teddy Bees. This is Sweet Snickerdoodle. This was my one loaf I had of Teddy Bees, so now I don't have any loaves. I actually prefer souffles and tubs from Teddy Bees over their loaves. Um, I don't know why. I just, I don't know if it's storage or what, but I, this was my one and only loaf. Um, this to me kind of gave me, um, pumpkin pecan waffle vibes. Sweet snickerdoodle, I think more of like cinnamon bakery, but it, it's not an overly cinnamon bakery. It's not spicy at all. Like I said, if you like pumpkin pecan waffle, you would probably like this blend. I did like it. I'd say it's probably a medium scent throw. Um, you know, medium to strong, which I have been having better and better performance for my Teddy Bees. So again, to me, I feel like Teddy Bees does better with longer cure time. Um, but um, anyway, I like this. I enjoyed it, but it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. I like Witches Be Crazy better if I'm going to get a blend that is more pumpkin pecan waffle. Like again, this one doesn't have pumpkin pecan waffle, but it kind of gave me that vibe. I have a few little candles from the keeping room. This was just a sample of blueberry flapjack. Really, really nice. Liked it a lot. I love her bakery. Her opening is in mid mid November. This is the only vendor that I'm struggling with because I don't want to make any purchases before I move. I don't want to buy more wax and move it to a new, you know, new location. But I know Carol's closing soon, so I'm like. I'm not 100% set that I'm going to order, but if I was going to make any purchase before we move, it would be from Carol. Um, like everything, like even my Sensi Club I skipped for this month because I just don't want to like have to think about like packages coming in when we're going to be moving. Um, but anyway, I'm like getting off topic, but this is the um, bag that I finished, pumpkin pecan zucchini waffle. Oh my gosh, was this absolutely amazing. I love Carol's Wax. I think it's so fun. It gives me kind of like a old town kind of homey feel. It gives me very homemade vibes. I mean, all these vendors are small businesses, right? But like, I just, there's something so special about Carol's packaging, the double bag, the homespun rib ribbon, the cute shape she does. I just, I have a lot of trouble wanting to melt through it because I just want to savor it. But at the same time, I'm trying to be like, realistic with myself and I don't want it to go old or bad in my collection by just having it sit there right I want to actually enjoy it so slowly but surely I will be melting through my candles from the keeping room but you know no rush but I love this so good one Broadway wax this is messy little goblins um this to me was like a sweet perfumey apple I'm guessing lick me all over might be like a perfumey leaning blend i'm not quite sure um this was super strong like powerhouse i definitely enjoyed it while it was warming but it's not a blend that i'm like i need to repurchase or anything but it, i enjoyed it fantasy wax melts this with my loaf and pumpkin pecan waffles i love pumpkin pecan waffles so it was a great uh great loaf to have i would do it on its own. I would mix and match this with other bakeries. So, you know, that's just a staple, staple scent, pumpkin pecan waffles that I always have in my collection. 
Vintage Chic Scents, my favorite things. Really good. This is Fresh Picked Strawberries, Fresh Baked Bread, and Vanilla Butter Fudge. I don't remember if I read those notes, so sorry if I did read them already, but really, really good. To me, it was the strawberry and vanilla butter fudge is what I was smelling the most. I really didn't pick up much of that fresh baked bread, which I'm glad. I don't like too heavy yeasty bready scents, um, but I really liked this. Her, she has a really good fresh picked strawberry scent oil. Um, this was probably like a medium throw. Did really enjoy that. Um, oh, so here's the melted mousse one that I was talking about, the blueberry fluffins. Blueberry muffins, sweet cornbread, marshmallow fluff. I would definitely not repurchase this one. I... Uh, I didn't even, to be honest, really enjoy it too much. To me, the strongest note was the cornbread. I didn't get that much blueberry muffins or like marshmallow fluff. Like it was really strong on the cornbread. So it wasn't my preferred kind of a scent. Um, but in general, of my Melted Moose order that I purchased, I think it was like a February pre-order. Um, I've liked, you know, I've had good performance from her but she doesn't regularly do like rts's or pre-orders i know she recently had a um a customs list i did not put my name on it and i just i don't want a ton of little like scent shots in my collection personally i know she does like seasonal seasonal mystery boxes but for me i mean i would have to get two to melt in like my office because a scent shot doesn't go too far for me but, um, you know, I'd keep my eye out in the future if she ever did a pre-order again. I have three um, scoopable wax tarts. To be honest, I'm not getting the best performance from her, I guess, hard wax? Is that? Because she usually does scoopable, right? This wasn't scoopable. These were like half or a quarter pies. I have to really say all three of these, I got very light performance. I could smell if my nose was in the warmer, but throw wise, it just isn't working for me. The one thing I will say though, is I have half pies of Goodnight Moon. I love that scent. And I was scared because based off of the performance of these three, I was scared I wasn't gonna get performance from that one either. But that one is doing well for me. Thank goodness, because I love it. And that's like, the number one reason I made an order because I love Goodnight Moon so much. So thankfully that one is doing great and I'll update when I actually have a big finish to share. But I just have to say, and it's weird because I mean, Rose Girls, I get great performance and I'd assume, I mean, maybe they don't have the same wax formula, but I know um, Kathy is Jenny's mom and I'd assume they at least have the same oils, but for just for some reason I get great performance from Rose Girls, but not scoopable tart wax. I don't know why. So um, warm and cozy apple fritter donuts, you know, it was okay. I didn't really smell. Um, pumpkin graham crackers. And then the other one was circus concession. This is going to be a long video. Oh my gosh, gosh, we're already at like 40 minutes, but we are wrapping up. I think I just need like 10 or 15 more minutes. Okay, southbound. A few of these were their little wax cakes. <clears throat> Good morning, sunshine. Yeah, it was good. It was okay. It definitely wasn't a favorite. I wouldn't, you know, nothing too special. It was a medium performer, light to medium kind of, you know, just a good fruity blend. Breakfast berries. I liked this one way more on warm. When I smelled it on cold, this is one of those where I'm like, eh, it's okay. Let's, you know, let's warm it and see how it does. Much better on warm. I mainly smelled the strawberry pound cake, which I love that. Southbound does have a really good strawberry pound cake blend. So this was really good. It's just not my first strawberry pound cake blend that I would go to repurchase from them. Ghostly Brew Cupcakes. Okay. <clears throat> this one. Probably out of everything I've warmed and showed in Wax Melt Empties this video, this one is the only one that I would really have to say, like, I hate it. <laughs> my husband hated it. He would tell me, like, please don't warm this one. And I was so mean. I was going into the office this one day at to work so not not our home office i was going into the office to work i decided to do this all throughout the apartment the day that i wasn't home and so my husband had to de deal with this one but it's to the point where like i'm just i'm someone who like i does not i don't like to waste but to be honest i already purchased the wax you know i i didn't really like it i could have tossed it but i just didn't want to waste it i just wanted to warm it I've had this before last year and I don't know if they changed up their cider, but it definitely gave me, 
if you've if you're familiar with l3 cider it gave me that like cider lane that i do not like it to me for some reason it it, it comes off like a black olive juice kind of a scent it was very hard to finish this one would not repurchase this one um but they have apple and cider blends that i do like so that's why it's just i have to be very careful when i'm looking at any sort of cider scents the weirdest thing is typically i love cider donuts oils um typically it's certain cider lanes that i don't like but some vendors call you know oils different names like in their scent descriptions so that one in particular for some reason this year i was not liking okay let us go on to some of my clamshells now so let's do scentsy um we have together forever this one um was a valentine's day collection i have to say so this is no longer in my club no longer available it's not my scent preference i don't like it i removed it from my club but this might be the strongest scentsy wax bar that i've had ever it is such a strong perfumey floral borderline kind of powdery floral scent very strong if you do a whole wax bar of this it'll it'll blow you out of your house it's that strong so performance wise great but just scent wise it was way too floral heavy for me simply irresistible i was just finishing this up this was a bring back my bar that it, it's not in my club i i like it but just not enough to keep in my club um um this one it's interesting it kind of it says lavender with strong woodsy background of amber moss and musk it smells like it's a little bit of like an herbal eucalyptus because when i was warming this i'm like what mint scent am i doing it I, it smells like a cool mint um but that's not in there so i'm not entirely sure what this is but it's it's really pretty to me to me though it just wasn't something that was club worthy sea salt and avocado um you can no longer get this scent i believe um before i decided i was gonna skip my club for november i did actually remove this from my club it's pretty but to me not something that i need to have in my club but it is very very pretty medium throw but yeah you know i'd repurchase it again but it's not something that like i need to like have it hold a spot in my club very bright this one is in my club really like this one it's just a really unique to me like blue raspberry kind of a scent it's really really good my husband likes this one a lot too um we have i have two tiger lilies because i did this all throughout my open concept i love this one i always talk about how this is the one that kind of made me want to get a club because it reminds me of my mom and i do really like that one um i'm kind of breezing through these because a lot of these i've talked about if they are in my club um sun ripened berry this was super pretty really really nice kind of like summery strawberry kind of a scent it was good i think i picked this one up maybe in clearance so i mean it's not in my club anyway winterberry apple tea i did a few that i picked up in my um september club because i was trying to warm through and decide what i was gonna cut from november either way i don't have to make that decision now but um winterberry apple tea I liked this one. It definitely was kind of like a broody, um, fright, uh, fright, broody, no, broody, fruity bright. I was saying broody fright. No. Okay. It was good performance, but to me, this is another one that I did cut out of my club. Like it's not club worthy, but it was really pretty. Um, caramel apple craze and bright cider life. I love these both and I would definitely get both of these again. If I had to pick between one or the other, just when it comes to like an apple kind of a scent, I would definitely much rather keep Caramel Apple Craze over Bright Cider Life, but I do like them both. And for right now, for whenever my January club processes, if I do end up getting that, um, I would get, you know, another one of each. But like I said, this one just leans a little bit more my preference, but this one is really good too. I did try the NHL Fresh Ice. This was really, really good. This is one that I would definitely keep in my club. Nice, strong, tiny bit kind of herbal leaning mint with that kind of sandalwood, but I feel like it just makes it kind of warm because I don't typically like sandalwood, at least not in vendor wax. Scentsy sandalwood, I do tend to enjoy, 
Um, I really enjoy this strong, long lasting. Um, so for now it's in my club and will stay. You know, classic blueberry cheesecake. Love this one, really enjoy it. I did try this warm pumpkin drizzle in the little sample scent shot cup that came in September uh, uh, whiff box. And based off of the sample on cold sniff, I remember saying I was gonna pick this up. Um, but when I went to warm it, actually, I didn't care for it that much. So I wouldn't pick that one up. Um, sensi, sensi, sensi. This was a make a splash pod that was in our car for a while. Um, it's good. The pods last, you know, a couple weeks at most. And then this pack of pods, watermelon tangerine. I think I put watermelon tangerine maybe in our car, which is why I actually have the empty pod pack to show rather than this thing. Um, watermelon tangerine, it's not the strongest in wax, if I remember correctly. It is strong in and long lasting. Well, I take that back. It's strong for the first like half of the um, fragrance flower. I still have a watermelon tangerine going from like the springtime. I don't smell it anymore. There's still like a teeny tiny bit of like oil in there, but I don't smell it anymore. But it was strong for the first like month, I would say. But anyway, the pods, you know, you smell it for a little while. It's not super long lasting. Typically a little more long lasting than the, the car circles, fragrance circles, what are they called? S scent circles. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get more pod refills once I'm out of them. Um, we have this 3D scent circle, what I will say, this blew me away performance wise. This lasted, I think, three weeks, three weeks to a month, which shocked me because scent circles usually last like two days. It smells really good too, but you know, this was so good. I I don't know if it's because it's, maybe it's because it's kind of like equivalent to two scent circles because of the 3D, but this definitely, performed well. This came in my September whiff box too. Like I am very impressed with this one. I enjoy that a lot. Do I have any more scentsy? Oh, I'm, I put this one in our car. This is, you know, just from Happy Mail from Hannah. Every once in a while I get Happy Mail from Hannah. Um, so I've just kind of accumulated some of these. Thank you, Hannah, for sending these because I really appreciate it. Um, this one is a really pretty scent. The first day I put it, put it in the car, it was like a decadent, like lick the air, good bakery, chocolatey bakery kind of a scent. This one I will say isn't long lasting. This is one of those, you know, typical scent, scent circle performance where it like only lasted a couple days. I think it's still in the car cause I just keep it in there. I keep scent circles in our car way longer than I even smell them. Um, but yeah, so not super long lasting on that one. Do I have any more scentsy? Oh, and then a brick of pink poinsettia. This was a brick of last year's holiday bricks. I actually just recently got my um, my Christmas warmers in the mail. So you will see those at some point. I mean, it was gonna be a tiny, tiny haul. It's only two warmers and one brick. I did try the maraschino sugar cookie, but anyway. Um, oh, sorry, that just, I just like slammed this shut, but this like, this made me sad. I didn't actually put it in my club because I hadn't started a club when these bricks had come out, but I think I'll be good. I think truthfully in my collection, I have two more bricks of these. I, and I think I'll be good after that. I do love this scent, but because I stocked up so much on these bricks when they were in clearance, like I think I'll be fine without it. Like, and who knows, maybe it'll come back and like I'll bring back my bar one day. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm definitely enjoying this. I feel like it's good performance, good throw. It's kind of like a perfumey um fruity scent so do like that one let's do i have two of the same from bewitching wax sleeping spell this is really really nice this it was strong like a strong herbal leaning lavender chamomile blend it was really nice i enjoyed it two bathing garden these are both pink sugar pie crust really good these i'm not planning to repurchase any bathing garden collections for a very long time because my I mean if you've seen any of my hauls my collection was very big 
So if I were to repurchase one day down the, down the line, this is one that I would probably pick up. I do really like it. This is a very popular scent of Shannon's. Um, we have, oh, I should have done this one when I did my Teddy Bees. I did the sample of Smoke Show. I do have a tub of this. I think a tub, one tub? Yeah, so good. I love this. This was amazing. Like, I am so glad I have a tub of that. It was so good. I wish I had like multiple tubs of it. That's how much I loved it. I did a few candles by Victoria Scent Shot Cups. I remember even in my haul video, someone had mentioned that um, she has a lot of very similar blends. So you don't need to pick up five different pumpkin bakery scents because ultimately they all smell very similar. So these were good but I couldn't tell you which one I preferred. They all kind of like smelled the same to me. So we have pumpkin crunch cake. Oh, oh my gosh. Pumpkin crunch cake, just the pumpkin bakery, pumpkin pecan waffles. Obviously this smells like the Bath and Body Works dupe. Gooey pumpkin butter cake was a good pumpkin bakery. And then pumpkin cinnamon donuts. I mean, they were good pumpkin bakeries, but I, can't, I really can't really tell you what the difference is when you're warming them. Um, so just, you know, if you're curious to try a pumpkin, pumpkin bakery, just get grab one and try it because they're all very similar. This is One Body's Harmony um, Scoopable. This was from last year in Hot Baked Apple Pie. Again, this is kind of one of those scents where this year I probably wouldn't purchase this if I saw this in an RTS or pre-order. But, you know, it's a good warm apple pie scent it's definitely not like a fresh picked apple um it's it definitely smells like a baked apple pie it was good but you know nothing crazy i have some candles here this is one woodwick candle and pumpkin pie i actually got this from home goods who knows how long i got this i don't think these are like 9.99 at home goods anymore i think the price would have probably been higher i love the woodwick crackle um that's pretty much why I liked it. I mean, it probably smelled like pumpkin pie at the beginning. Now it just smells like burning wick. But I love the aesthetic of wood wick with like the crackle. It just, it's such a pretty ambiance. So I would totally get another wood wick candle in the future. Um, scent wise, I don't know. I didn't really notice a throw. Leaves, very pretty. You know, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that wasn't a good like, I was like, ugh. I just feel like when you get to the bottom of, Bath and Body Works candles, I just smelled the wick, uh, to be honest. So right now I don't really smell it, but while it was going like the first half of it, smelled nice. Your typical leaf scent. I like picking one of those up for the fall time. It just gets me in the fall mood when those come out in like, you know, August. Honeycrisp Apple. See, this one was good. I feel like this even does still smell a little bit like apple, not just burning wick. You can kind of tell it kind of discolored and got a little gross because this was like white and now it's like brown gray. Um, this was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I just like the ambiance of candles. I'm never like super harsh on rating candles based off of like candle like scent throw because I honestly, after the first couple burns, I don't really get a scent throw from candles. Um, Spooky Cider Lane, the only reason, well, no, it sounded really good, but the main reason I picked this up because of the lid, how cool is this? So I'm done with this candle now. Again, it really only smelled good the first couple burns. This one, I had to baby a lot in Cotton Ball. The wicks were like very tiny every time I would burn this one, but I'm definitely keeping this lid. Um, I'm not going to keep this because this for whatever reason, seems like it would be hard to... Oh, wait. I might be able to pe just peel off this. I think this is just like a plastic um, overlay layer. I might be able to peel this off. I just don't know if this one would be annoying to clean because it's black wax. But um, I want to keep the lid and one of the jars and clean it out and just have it... I don't know. I'll just store something in it. Q-tips, cotton balls, something like that. Because... This is such a cool lid. This is why I bought it. So I don't want to just throw out the lid because it's so cool. Um, one soap. This is Perfect Pumpkin. I always forget to do these for like the specific, um, the specific holiday. So like this kind of reminds me of like Halloween. 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna pull this out at the beginning of October, not the end, because then by the end, I'm gonna wanna start doing like, you know, holiday, you know, Christmassy kind of scents. So did this one and just finished it up recently. As long as it foams and feels like I, it's cleaning my hands, I'm happy with it. This is a candle I brought home from Hawaii. It was in like a coconut. And I was gonna clean it out and keep this, but I don't know. I I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping it. This one was another candle that I had to baby. The wick was actually really crooked, so it did not burn evenly. This is the most unique wax I've ever had, I think. Is it soy wax? I don't know. There's like a, a sticker on it, so I can't quite read it. But this was the most unique wax I've ever had. Um, I don't even know how to explain it unless you've tried one of these candles, but I have a few more of these, not this big coconut, but a few more smaller candles. So I'll definitely burn through them. Um, and I just, I can't decide yet if I'm going to toss this or not, but I, I don't know. I might keep the coconut and store something in it just for like memory purposes. But again, burn wise, it, it I had to baby that one. Last but not least, I think we're at an hour in this video now. We'll see if I can chop it down at all. But um, pumpkin body butter from Trader Joe's. I just got sucked in because, you know, as we were checking out, I thought it'd be fun to pick this up for the season. I enjoyed it. It was a really thick body butter. Like, you had to, like, scrape it out and, like, warm it up in your hands. It was really thick to the point where, like, if you rubbed it directly on your skin, you might be kind of, like, pulling your skin a little bit. Um, I did enjoy it, but it's not anything I would go to repurchase. I just kind of got caught up in wanting to get pumpkin everything for the fall time, but you know, I enjoyed it. And I like the lid that it like pops open like this, as opposed to you having to just screw, you know, unscrew it every time you use it. I think that was pretty convenient. Um, so we have finished. That was a lot of empties. I think in the going forward, because, well, don't get me wrong. I still have pre-orders out, so I will still do wax melt haul haul videos but i think going forward just because they'll be less frequent i might do more frequent wax melt empties but they'll probably be shorter um let me know what you guys think that's kind of what i'm leaning towards um thank you guys so much for watching and you know watching the whole video if you're still sticking around to the end hopefully you were able to just multitask and listen to me uh, chit chatting in the background or something like that. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.